G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to the No Repair Challenge. I'm hanging out in my base in the, uh, the roof, the attic of this church that I found, that's actually coming together really, really well. I've got my horde base down here, it's a bit iffy, but it will work for now, but that's about to get a whole lot more of a workout, because... I finally have some proper dew collectors up the top up here. I can finally properly sort out my water problems. I mean, it's raining like anything at the moment. Cats and dogs are everywhere, but there's still lots of fluids together. With all four of those collectors upstairs working away, chuck all you guys back into there, plus like all my workstations, so the campfire, the workbench, the forge, I feel like I've now crossed a line where I will be dealing with screamers more often than not, but I have all new weaponry. Going to that cracker book has opened my eyes, opened my knowledge to so many things. Got a tier three knife now that I can make myself. I can make myself a tier two pistol, tier four stone tools, and at some point, at some point, I'm really hoping I can start cracking into the iron stuff. The iron pickaxe is like a dream of mine at the moment, so I can like break down and rebuild my horde base a bit better. Um, but that is going to be my mission for today. The other mission for today is in you. This bad boy is now ready to be ridden. I finally have a, uh, a mini bike. I've got lots of fuel. That's got more storage in you as well. So I'm all sorts of tickly about it. Today is going to be great. Pick up my bicycle. Thank you. Chuck you in the pocket of my mini bike for safekeeping. Make sure that you are fueled up. There you go. And chuck all the rest of the fuel in there as reserve. Before I leave, actually, I do have quite a lot of random recipes I found over the journey. Do I have any vehicle mods at the moment that I can make? I can make off-road headlights. Sick. Stoked about that. Thank you. I was really hoping for like a turbo or a efficiency mod, but nah, I guess not. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm begging all over the shop. I'm going to head back into town, though. I need to find a working stiffs. I want to get those tool books. I want to make myself those tools when I can or find a fresh one. I don't really mind, but I need something in that, uh, that kind of genre. I mean, I said I needed the working stiffs. There's a... There's a working stiff sign on the side of this building over here. How bad are you, though? Oh, no, I've already, I've already done 1% damage to my minibike. I only just got the sodden thing. So you're at tier 3. That might be doable. I mean, I've progressed a lot further from when I took on the church, which is also a tier 3. I mean, look, I, I asked the gods for a working stiff, and it gave me one. Who am I to spit in the god's face? It's just going to make him even more mad at me. You need to be loaded up with arrows, though. Okay. Fast game's a good game. Or at least in the live game's a good game. G'day. I wish I had my rifle for the double kill penetration, but no, not so lucky. Stealth is still king, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dog. Use my best gun, my highest damage gun, which is my pistol. You're doing 43 compared to 33 on the pipe machine gun. So even though the Ratatata would be a lot of fun, just the pea shooter will get me through like it's Plants vs. Zombies. It's now Woodle vs. Zombies. Although, that's a throwback and a half. Plants vs. Zombies was wicked way back in the day. Feels like forever ago now. Open up you. Any poopers? No poopers. Any poo pistols? No, none of you either. Just poo water, which... Even though it's gross, we still have to take. I don't actually know where I'm going with this POI, like what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to be aiming for. I've already looted all of that, so that's fine. And there's no pigeons up on the roof. Ah, there's a plank. All right. Across we go. I assume you're going to take me in the general right direction. Cheeky ammo pile for me soon. Nine more arrows. Lovely, lovely. Stick with the stealth, though. It's your... Your best option at the moment. Open up some cupboards. No one's in there yet, but I don't think that's going to be for much longer. Are you going to pop? Ooh, no. No zombies popped? Ah, <laughs> you were in the crate all along, you cheeky todger. Get rid of you. Open up that one and get rid of you as well. We're wasting the arrows, but... Oh, shit. That's why you got to do that, though. Get the drop on a feral out when you need to. Oh, you woke everybody up. Now you're just being rude. That's a feral. Hold on. 
That's in the kneecap. Wait on a second. You're a little bit slower, but it's all higgledy piggledy up here. So hitting you is more difficult than I'd like it to be. Sit you down, though. Well, old man is following up the rim. Oh, yeah. You, look, you guys are in trouble. You guys are in all sorts of trouble. Oh, I've got my brand new knife. I've got first aid as well, which is always pretty important. Now nah, we're good. We're good. Ferals be damned. Knife will get us through. This door is going to be very bloody loud, I think. But look at that. There's some working sis boxes up there. That's the whole reason I came here. All right, well, if I tickle you, my escape route back up to the roof is pretty easy, so it shouldn't be so bad. No one woke up. That wasn't like a trigger point, although there's one. I was going to say, just stick, stick to the outside so they can't sneak up behind you. Oh, oh, it was the wrong box. Wrong box. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever floats your boat there, champion. If you want to just kind of like stick your head through physics, then you do you. It's like freaking Jumanji out here. Quickly sort you out. Was there anyone other, other little friendos around that you want me to deal with? No one in you. Can't tell my arrow back out of you either. And no one in that one. Oh, where are they all? That looks like a spider. Oh, and a locked chest up there. I can't quite see your noggin, but... I work everyone downstairs. Okay, stay with it. Stay with it. One of these has got to hit you. I'm going to ignore the other zombies. For goodness sake. Any of them, please. Um, there you go. I've, all of those beforehand should have hit you in the head or at least like your forearm at some point, but just not that lucky, I guess. No, oh, great. Now he's on top of me. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, come down here. There's a few of you, but none of you is a feral, so that's fine. I just don't like dealing with the spider because he's all sorts of jumpy and... A little bit lower with that go-go gadget extendo reach. He's good. Gone. Gone with some loot in your pockets too. Vehicle fuel saver mod schematic. That's what I was after. Thank you. And a coffee. Oh, dude, you're the best friend ever. Keep my eyes peeled for any extra concrete around the joint because I do need to take you with me. That sounds like a couple of No so many ferals just yet. You're just a regular. You're fine. That's a feral. Oh, and I missed the shot. Down, I missed the shot. Pull the, bo uh, the bowstring. Aim for your legs. There we go. There we go. Once I got you slowed. Oh, I've got all of the advantage. You guys are just fine. Drop and drop. Could I even just like, do I even have to save you again? Or are you just going to bleed out in front of me? There goes one. All right, fine. All right, fine. I wanted to give you a nice excruciating death, but I guess I'll make it quick instead. You have your way. There's definitely going to be more throughout this place, but I don't know where they're going to be. And to be honest with you, it's... Ooh, I can now make a quality two claw hammer. Sick as. Like, I just don't know where they are, and they're all kind of hiding anyway, so going in stealth isn't really a great option anymore, I don't think. But looting is always a great option. You got any pickaxes in there for me there, champion? No. Harvesting tools. I can have a quality five stone stuff. Anything else behind you? No. No, I thought that was going to be the first level of iron. Scrapping another workstations book. We're edging closer to getting ourselves a cement mixer. And I can make a wooden bow quality one. Shit, yes. That door is locked and a very strong door. And I feel like that's going to be a... Yeah, I feel like that's going to be a booby trap and I was absolutely right about it. Oh, I missed the jump. I tried to run across the rafter. Didn't work out for me. There's one. Straight through the legs. That's That might be a feral. I'll put one in here just in case. The rest of you shouldn't be. Nah, I think you're all fine across the board after that one. You're a regular. You're gone. Feral's dead. And all of you are dead. Oh, God. The tier 3 knife is taking names. Don't know what your names are, but they're now etched onto the blade. Just... And I'm, it surprises me every time at just how good it actually is. I've been sleeping on knives for ages. There's the zeros on the big boy chest. I broke a couple of lockpicks, but we're fine. What have you got for me? 10% greater hypothermal resistance. High, high, high perth. Extreme temperatures. Okay, so from context, I always get hypo and hyper confused, but hypothermal means hot, so better hot, uh, hot resistance. I live in a desert. That's great. Insulated liner isn't really what I'm after, but thank you anyway. First aid bandos and some ammo. Garn bag. Anything good in you? Some knuckles, a knife guy book. Hunting knife quality four. I just made it tier three, but thank you anyway. And some shetty parts, always a good day. 
just a scope and some ammo. I can now make four bots, which is good. Come on, keep on going. 762 ammo. These are the working stiff boxes, what I'm actually after. Salvage tool, like wrenches and stuff. I need harvesting tool, I think it was. And building blocks. No, that's it. That's it. I didn't oh, I didn't get any closer. I didn't even get any closer back myself the pickaxe that I need. I mean, look, I've got a lot of good stuff, but I still, I'm still disappointed. Where else can I go that's going to give me, ooh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, where else can I go that's going to give me working stiff stuff, but a cathedral? Do you still have like a shitload of books down in your basement down there? Because if you do, oh, that's a feral. All right, there's a guardian of the cathedral. Hold on. Hold on, you big bloody gargoyle. Got you in the knee. That's all. That's like my, my brand new tattoo I use for everyone. And it's bloody effective. Sat and almost dead. Properly dead. Took your arm off, yum. My frame rate's kind of gone to ass, but yeah, surely. Surely, surely there's still some books in there for me somewhere. Just got to get in and find them. Can I stack you any better? In fact, hang on, hang on. Lock you in like that. Take all of you out and build myself a chest or something out here. Don't stack up the mini bike if you don't need to. I'm searching for gems, specifically a diamond for traded gems. So I feel like people might be buried with some good jewelry at some point. That one wasn't. One of you guys have got to have a diamond around here somewhere. No, just, just the remains of who you used to be. Not going to bother breaking into you because you're way too bleeding strong. I see you. Hold on. Gone and no one else. There is actually, like, this is the new cathedral. So there is actually some. Oh, hello, health stuff. How are you? Give me that. Give me that. And I mean, not going to last very long. I'm going to enjoy a while I've got you. I think what, like, the, one of the crypts down here has a box inside it that sometimes is a working stiff. So that might be pretty bloody good. You're just a reg. Drop you. No one in the other one either. Fixed up. Where's... Oh, it must be that one. All right, hang on a second. I don't have the book. Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. So I've been desecrating... Been desecrating graves for not a lot of reason. Oh, I can get that actually after I'm done here. So I'm going to go anywhere. It's fine. It's going to be on the ground with no zombies running for at least a little while. I honestly thought I already had that book to... Rip the jewelry out of all the buried people, but nah, guess not. I'll dig up that one in a second. Let's just continue the trend, actually. But while I'm here, what have you got for me? Ah, just a shamway. Ah, I guess it's better than nothing, but I was really hoping for a tool. I've looted all of the outside of the compound, so time to put my money where my book-seeking mouth is and get down into the library down below. This always gives me like Hitman 2 vibes. Remember like your little compound you had in Hitman 2 with all like your weapon stashes and stuff in like the basement of that church, that little like garden shed you had? Every time I come in here, I have flashbacks of playing as 47 a million years ago. Quickly break you apart for a cheeky engine. I'll take you apart for all the extra iron and parts as well. Waste not, whatnot, and all that. Getting an engine out of you actually a really good get. I used one for the mini bike, I need one for the motorbike, and then I need one for power generation too. You always need engines, always need horsepower. One of them's already woken up. All right, catch you later there, champ, but the rest of your friends didn't. He must have had a different wake up cue to the rest of them then. Can I still like stealth most of this? Those are piles of books, not piles of zombies. Old mate's still kicking garbage down there, hold on. There's another one. Boop. Good shots. Is he going to like come through that door in a second? I think he probably will. I can't really see any others worth pooping. All right. We're fine. We're good. Open the door. How are you? Stand there like bloody Aragon. Thank you for coming. There's not really much down here in the way of zombies. And there's a lot fewer bookshelves than there used to be. All these little nooks used to have bookshelves in them. And now they're few and far between. That's a little bit or rather a lot all upsetting. Anything in you? No, just the seed. I don't care about the seeds. I regret putting a point. Fuck off. I regret putting a point into living off the land because now seed books are freaking lousy. They're everywhere down here. Knife guy book. I mean, at some point, we to make machetes, which would be wicked. Use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Great book to have. Thank you. And is that, is that like it? Is that all the bookshelves that are in here? There's like, there's none. 
This used to be so lucrative and now it's, oh, now it's just disappointing. This, there's like half as many books as there used to be. Think you're the last pile. And it's more goddamn seeds. Stop it. Just need a quick little look-see up behind this window up here. See if that old hidden stash is still there. Up oh, and then, oh, well it is, but I can't, hang on. There you go. I was gonna, I couldn't break the glass with my knife, but no, we're fine. I can't hit the box. Come on, please. There you go. Got to find the right little pixel. Hidden stash with... Ooh, retracting stock mod schematic. Thank you. That's actually not too bad. All right, we're good. <laughs> My lack of knowledge is annoying, but we can keep on pushing. Who's in the crypts? The day is ticking away just so quickly. Uh, whenever you... Fuck. There wasn't really anything for me in any of the caskets. I suppose the caskets aren't for me, but oh, you're new. You didn't used to be there. Thank goodness you're just a regular though. Get down, stick your head out and gobble me knife for me. Catch your bloody later. Um, yeah, not a lot for me down below. Did get an extra level up that I haven't spent yet though. You're not a referral. You're dead in one. You won't be, but it's worth a try. How do we play this game before there was decapitation like that? Before you could dismember zombies. How do we ever play this game? It's so good. There's another Yeti over there. I can't see his noggin, but I can see his knees. That works for me, because if you are a feral, you'll be nice and slow. If you do get pissed off, you're still going to be nice and slow. Although I don't think you know where I am. No, you didn't. You hadn't had the fog years, but I found you eventually. Take that arrow back out of here and finish you off. I like that. I, I've never really put so much emphasis. <laughs> Look at the wiggly waggly innards you've got. Or now I suppose they're outards, not really innards. But I've never really given so much stock to the uh, arrow through the leg slows down a zombie thing before. I usually just kind of deal with things as best I can. But that's a... You got absolutely wrecked. That's a really good thing that I'm going to lean on more and more. Oh, sorry. Not only in this series, but in the next ones too. Sliced you right in half like that. Because, yeah, turning like a feral zombie into only a slightly faster than normal zombie. So good. We're moving up the stairs, keeping our eyes trained for any opportunities we have for his cheeky stealth shot. I heard the growl of a zombie, but I can't see anyone. Oh, all right. Oh, he dodged it. He dodged it. Hang on. I'm going to put my arrow back out of the wall. Shit, in just a second. Can I hit you, please? What am I doing? Oh, God. What am I doing today? I'm shanking my shots all over the shop. You're gone. Oh, you're definitely gone. Where did the other two go? Let's kind of run up the stairs and disappeared. Oh, they went to find their friends. They went to find their friends. Quickly open the curtains. Get some sunlight in here. It's not a teenager's boy's bedroom. There you are. There you are. You came back to find me. That a boy. Thank you. The whole choir's all stood up and lit up. Ready to belt out some tunes. That, oh, oh shit. I need to get some anti-rad. I really need to get some anti-rad. I really need to hit my shots occasionally. Don't know how that one missed. It shot high and left, which is heck unusual for the primitive bow, but that's all right. The next couple of follow-ups have been fine. I was going to say, I don't think you're dead. Still not dead. Still not dead. That means you're a feral, doesn't it? Shit. Don't wake up him. He's fine having a snooze. I'm gonna quickly murder him anyway. That was also a feral. Okay, hold on. Shit. Hold on. Oh, I gambled. I gambled on trying to do it stealthily without waking up the rads. It worked out this time. It may not next time. I can't see much of anything else. I don't know if there's any more zombies in here other than those rads. That, zomb uh, that yeti rather has already copped an arrow through the bill, so is all sorted. Mm, I can't hear tippy tappy footsteps. I think it's someone outside. I don't want to get complacent though. Is there any more down here at all? Hang on. Can't jump while I'm crouched. No, I don't think so. All right. I don't think I have any other choices. I think I just got to pepper one of the rads and try and draw them out. Maybe just one at a time. You. Thank goodness he sleeps very soundly. Oh my goodness, can you hit it please? There you go, straight through the head. Follow up shot. Missed it. Okay. Well, he's gonna come up here. 
Gonna go one more arrow shot. We'll see if we can knock him down. We can knock him down. And then one of the legs, please. Right there. Gotcha. And I scared him. And I scared him. He's gone. He's off to the races. Catch you later. Not especially sure what old mate is on about, but he's over there licking some barbed wire. Can I help put him out of his misery or something? I no longer lose stamina for sneak sprinting. That book is a good one. All right, you're right then. You're right there. Does this count as a stealth shot? I don't know. It did not. Now on the legs. Slow your right down, please. I'm going to try and do this as quietly as possible so your other bad friend doesn't wake up. Oh, look at that. You're a pin cushion, but you're a dead pin cushion. That was some spectacular stealthy gameplay by me. Now you, let's do the same thing all over again. I'm going to go early. Damn it. I tried to get the, I tried to get the knees. I tried to get the knees shot. No, whiffed it. Shit. Uh-oh. He's coming. He's coming. Sat him. And then one in the knees. So you're nice and slow. That was a little bit too close for comfort then. But I think you are the last one. So I can just backtrack. Murder. And we're all good. All right. Yeah, that wasn't quite how I had it going in my mind, but whatever works, I suppose. Oh, there's more. There's always more. Why is there always more? There's someone outside trying to break through the windows, but I think that's all there is. Everyone down in the auditorium down here are definitely gone. Quickly check the desk. Scrap you. Pat, pat, pat. Adorable little pug. In, oh, it's not even a puggy, but it's an adorable little puppy in a sweet ass hoodie. What a champion. Bow hunting, wooden bow quality too. I'll make one of those as quickly as I can when I get back home again. Though I do need bow parts for that that I'm not sure I have. Any other books? No, nothing there. Nothing in here either. With just a rotten Vegemite saying that someone forgot their lunch. It's not even the moist maker sandwich, so not even worth defending. Oh, and look at that. The 44 gives me 5% better deal. I don't have a Magnum right now, but that is a very good book to have. Speaking into pistols and pulling out a Magnum, it seems like a really good combination. Check the wall safe in the office. There's a lot of zombies around me, but they're all outside. Full auto trigger mod. Uh, you're going to go into that one. Not because I want to fire you fully automatically, but just because you do extra damage when you've got it. But this is the office. And this... Oh, jeez, I was really rowdy out there. This office has always been a letdown throughout all the alphas, and it continues to be only two bookshelves in here. All right, she is for nothing. Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, copper. Less hello. No g'day. No g'day for you. Oh, jeez, that block is a bit of those two. Just go. Fuck it. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I got a brand new piss. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, you big gelatinous bitch. Go pick on someone else for a bit. I'm busy. There's a fair few zombies making their way into the cathedral now. So I'm just going to nah and leave up the tower. Trying to escape upwards is always a bad idea, but this one might work out for me. Get your bow out because there should be a couple of PG widgies around here. There's one. One gone. I can't see the others. There used to be three, wasn't there? There's another one. Where's the third? Where's the third? I could make... Ah, you can't. Let's do it. Let... Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. There's the third. Down you go. It's a long bloody way down. Say good day to the rest of the zombies down when you get there. Oh, over the top. Over to you and take my arrows back out of you and make myself some extra ones. I just wanted the feathers just for that. What have we got in the way of loot? <gasps> we have a working stiff box. Lovely. Shocker Messiah. Actually not too shabby. There's, oh, yeah, there it is. There's the weapons bag clipping through the floor as, as traditional at this point. All right, let's pop everything open and see what loot we've got. At 7 p.m. This was an entire day, an entire day at the cathedral. Oh, it's a whole new me. Gun store box with the tier two iron crossbow. I did say the other day that I was saving my crossbow bolts in case I've found a crossbow and I just have. That said, I think I might have scrapped my crossbow bolts at some point because I didn't think I'd find one and now the game is laughing at me. Don't need the guru bag, but thank you. Weapons bag with a club crafting book. Thank you. Sick. <laughs> a wooden club quality too, but more importantly, pistol parts. Is that everything? Didn't go the big boy chest yet. What have you got? Batter up volume seven. Metal chain mod schematic. Mm, thanks, but no thanks. Workstations. Not quite to the cement mixer yet. 250 bucks. Some more lock picks. I broke a bunch of actually getting into that chest. Hunter mod. Ooh. 
25 more damage to all animals. You can go in there. You can go in there. I have no mods in there right now, but definitely useful. And after all that, working stiff's box with... No, not repair tools. Not repair tools. Come on, I just want to make... I just want to make you. In fact, I can. I can. I, I, did, I swear that didn't pop up. I can make T1 iron stuff. Ooh, okay. How many more books do I need to make the next level up of it? I mean, it's not going to matter. I'm going to make it anyway, but harvesting tools is the first one. So only three more to level twos? Okay, okay. All right, well, cheese cathedral. I'm going to take my leave. Don't have to go back and see Jen. Oh, she did restock today. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And any excuse to see Jen? Who am I kidding? When am I ever going to say no to stopping by her place? I still need to go and get that airdrop that came down just outside of town, but it's kind of close to my house, so I can do that later. Jenny's is going to pack up shop in not a lot of time, so definitely to see her first. No zombies around. I've got a little bit of time to figure out what I can take to sell them. I can sell you. I can sell you. Uh, anything in here that I can sell? That one can get sold. You can hold on to that for me. Anything else? Most of this stuff has some sort of use to me, so not going to sell much. Going to sell that one, and that'll probably do us. All right, Jen, I'm back again. I've been spending a lot of time with you recently, but that's fine. It's only going to get worse after we go and spend some time with the lake. Well, aren't G'day. you excited for sore eyes? Oh no! What Why are I you? sore? Have you been crying? Let let me be the shoulder you cry on, Jen. I gotcha. Take that. Take that. Take that. And take that. And take that. You've got one handgun magazine, fists, three medical journals, what I have what I need out of you at the moment, a forger headbook, absolutely. More DD pockets. You've, that's the third restock in a row you've had those. Fine, fine. If you're so insistent that I have it, I'll buy it for my girl deeds. What else you got though? Gunpowder, I'll take you. Bullet tips, I'll take you. You want to spend 1500 bucks on Molotovs? Yeah, sure. I probably should have got myself some uh, sugar butts, but it's okay, too late now. Could have even bought myself a respec elixir, but that'll have to wait till later. What else you got? Ooh, no, that won't help. I thought it was pockets for a second, but it's not. I'll take that one. And that's about all. Jen, I keep running over here as fast as my little legs can carry me, thinking you've got everything I ever dreamed of. Turns out the only dream boat here is still just you. And she did have sugar butts too. Well, I'll buy you, because I've been struggling to find them anywhere recently, but... Lost some money on that purchase, but that's okay. I'm not really... Oh, not really... Oh. Uh... <laughs> Jen, your delivery has arrived, and it's a certain shape and very wiggly and vibrating. It's fallen out of its package, though. It's not quite as discreet as you might have thought, but... All right, Jen, well, if you've ordered it, you clearly need it, so that's fine. You can have that. <laughs> Whatever gets your rocks off, I suppose, but... Jeez, that's a real long one. You're very ambitious. I'm not going to go home yet. I've got more work to do. Ooh, cheeky garage. Any, any tools in the garage here, champion? Anything hanging up on the wall I can take with me? No, I can make myself a... No, oh, never mind. No, I can make myself a C1 eye pickaxe, but wouldn't mind a better one. But I can't go home yet. i got to go and get that drop first, all the way on the outside of town, behind the JW house. We're just going to ignore... <laughs> the name on the sign over there, Judy Witch. I'm going to ignore that and pretend like JW still stands for me. It definitely doesn't. It first came out like Alpha 17, but it's fun. It's fun. I like to pretend more than anyone. What are you going to give me? The pile's dropped in the middle of nowhere. I'd love some books, actually, if you wouldn't mind. Please? Pretty please? Pretty please with all sorts of delicious cherries on top. Some books, a forger head book, some fluids, and a hundred wood cubes. Holy, wherever that pile that was absolutely loves me. Bow hunters, uh, oh, uh, assault rifles, and pistols. What a time. That was a great get. I probably need to whack in a dump chest or something at some point because I don't have the space to take everything at once. I'll have to make two journeys. Oh, I like this place. I, I haven't lived in a church that I can remember. I may have at some point for like four seconds, but I don't think I've ever actually made it a proper house, but... I really like it. It feels nice to come back to. The big front door welcomes you home. You can all go away, and you can all go away. Same law of that. And actually, that last pistol book that I got unlocked, 
T3 pistols. I made it see it so I'll use you for a while, but we're really getting some progress going. So I did keep a couple. I mean, I've only got 27 iron arrows on me anyway, so I'll put you away and put you away. I will take that mod back out of here, though, so I'll chuck it into my crossbow. I do... Oh, hang on a second. I actually have... Oh, I do have... I can't put the 8x scope on the cross, but I can put the 4 times. I'm pretty sure. I can put the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to like you an awful lot. Crossbows are a death trap against Yetis, but against everything else, they're really sod and good. Chuck you onto them. I can now... Oh, that's got to be so much better. I mean, it's got to be harder, I suppose... I suppose it's going to be harder to hit the legs of a charging zombie because the reload time is so much slower. In fact, what's the go? I've got no more skill points to spend. I'd love to put another level into run and gun. I'm a bee stick away from next level up anyway. 358. Is there like any zombie outside that wants to come a bolt to the head? I need to kill one to get a level. Anyone. Anyone anywhere. There's one. I see ya. I see ya. Zoom all the way in. Give you a little bit of lead. And drop ya, Bonza, mate. Got a skill point to spend. Immediately gonna chuck that into running gun. Perfect. Perfect. So I can now sprint away, reload, spin 180, and no scope and right in the knees. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You're all full of water. Thank you. Look how good our base is coming along. Except for this. This still annoys me a lot. But without any further ado, though, I do have to go into you, Iron. Iron, I can I not make an iron fire axe? I can. Why why can't I? Ah, uh, because I'm missing a bunch of iron. Alright, that's probably a pretty crucial component of all of this. You give me like 12. I keep having to make them whenever I need it, but like whacking out 12 of them should be a good idea. You've got a whole bunch in you, you're all fine. Some extra fuel, some extra forged iron. Yeah, look at that. See, we're flying. We're flying. We're all good. Just gonna keep on top of production. I suppose I should just make them all, shouldn't I? Iron fire axe, iron pickaxe, and iron shovel. That took almost all of my forged iron, but that's okay. I mean, they're all tier ones as well. I, getting up into that newer tier, such a good idea, especially when I'm breaking down cobblestone and stuff. So stoked about that one. You can have those ones back again. I think we're looking pretty good. I think we're looking pretty good and gravy. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here. What are we now? We're coming into day 11. I'm going to spend, as soon as my axe is ready, my pickaxe, I'm going to spend tonight breaking down some of the horde base and getting ready for some building tomorrow. Because I need to make some upgrades before the horde shows up. I can't leave it till later uh, again. In fact, I kind of regret building all that out of cobblestone down there, not out of concrete. But with the new version of the horde base, it should work, I hope, at least a little bit better. I'm going to have to keep on breaking it down and rebuilding it as the game progresses because an endgame horde would destroy this thing. But I'll have to come back and continue to upgrade my horde base and try and survive further in the No Crafting Challenge in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.